Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another broadcast of the Weekly with me, Neff. Please subscribe to the channel and share with a friend. Today, this article comes from WOR, and it reads Barry Kogan's The Joker being turned into a Max series. So it seems like they're going to have the Joker that is part of the Matt Reeves Batman universe have his own series, kind of like how they're doing the Penguin right now on Max. Interesting enough, the Joker only appeared in a deleted scene from the Batman from 2022. He wasn't actually in the film, really. So, I actually, let me take that back. He was in the film towards the end with the Riddler, but he didn't have a major part. You obviously didn't see his face. He had a couple speaking lines, but nothing too major. I think maybe it was less than three minutes of screen time as he was in the Batman 2022, but it looks like they're going to make a series. And so let's read into some of the details and the direction they're going in with this, and uh, we'll talk about it afterwards. Some interesting intel has dropped on the Marvel Vision podcast. They're hearing that Barry Cogan is in talks to return as the Joker, but not in the Batman Part 2, rather as the main villain in the Batman Part 3. More intriguingly, Kogan's Joker will also headline a Max series that builds up to the Batman Part 3, much like Matt Reeves and company did with The Penguin. This makes a lot of sense, especially considering the success of The Penguin, which has been putting up some stellar numbers ever since its debut in September. And I can piggyback on that, guys. The Penguin is a great series. I think it's the best series on TV right now that is on Max currently. I just got through episodes six and seven, so I'm caught up on everything so far. I believe the series ends with episode eight, and that's going to be premiering this Sunday. So that's going to be very exciting news. But let's keep reading into the article. Kogan's Joker shows up near the end of the Batman as an unnamed Arkham prisoner who converses with the Riddler. Since then, there have been rumors he would have a far larger role in the sequel. It now looks as though he'll just have another cameo in part two. Matt Reeves is supposed to shoot the Batman part two early next year. Robert Pattinson, Colin Farrell, Zoe Kravitz, Jeffrey Wright, and Andy Serkis are set to return to the cast. Back in September, Reeves confirmed to Collider that the plan was to turn his Batman movies into a trilogy. After many drafts, the script for Batman Part Two was finally completed in September. No plot details have leaked, and the whole project has been shrouded in deep secrecy. Reeves is taking his time with this one, and for good reason. There's no rush. Next year is especially going to be an important one for James Gunn's DCU with Superman set for a summer release. There's also another DCU Batman movie in the works, and that would be The Brave and The Bold. There have been just too many Batman movies these last 35 years. I've counted 10 total. It'll be very hard for Reeves to top Christopher Nolan's trilogy. He probably won't. The Kogan slash Joker series will also be coming off the failure of Joker Foulet Adwa, which means that the character will be getting a fresh new reboot. And that concludes this article from Jordan Rumi of The World of Real. As far as Matt Reeves' Batman and Christopher Nolan's Batman, obviously Christopher Nolan kind of set the bar for Batman films as far as taking them seriously again. Uh, Matt Reeves, in my opinion, has put together a better Batman film with his first shot than Christopher Nolan did with Batman Begins. I do think the Batman 2022 is better than Batman Begins, but Dark Knight's going to be a hard one to top. So we will see what Matt Reeves brings to the table. He has two more films to try to compete with Nolan, obviously. It's a different world, a different take on Batman. And I think it's been respected as such. You know, Nolan is the bar, like I said, so we will just have to see what Matt Reeves puts forward. Can't wait for Batman Part 2. And now it looks like we are getting a confirmation on Batman Part 3 as well. So this is going to be pretty cool. You know, as long as they keep the main core back, I think this film's going to do great. I think all these films are going to do great. I believe Batman, basically part one, did about $785 million at the box office. I believe Batman part two could do $900 to $1 billion, depending on the quality of the film and word of mouth. I can't really see a reason why it wouldn't perform like that. Obviously, Batman part three could do more of the same if the quality of Batman part two holds up as well. One thing I do like about Matt Reeves' Batman universe is the fact that he's actually making it a universe. There's more depth to it, more characters that you care about, especially with the Penguin series, as good as that is. You're actually invested in these different characters, their arcs, um, their backgrounds and stuff like that. So that's one thing he's actually adding to his universe. Nolan didn't really do that. It was centered around Bruce Wayne and Batman, obviously. But, uh, you know, Nolan just put together a good product all the way through for three films. And it's just hard to top all that together when you look at it in its totality. But Matt Reeves has done a good job at introducing a new version of Batman, more like Detective Batman with Robert Pattinson starring, who's also a great actor leading there. 
You know, you have Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman. We have the Penguin played by Colin Farrell. Barry Cogan is the Joker. Going to be very interesting to see what the future holds for this trilogy, and I'll be watching every film that they do put out with Warner Brothers as far as the Batman is concerned. But with that being said, please comment down below what you think about a potential Joker series to go into Batman Part 3. I think that'd be really cool to see a Joker getting his own series. We've never seen that before. That'd be awesome. So let me know what you think. Like I said, comment down below, guys. Share this video with a friend. Also, subscribe and share our channel with a friend. That would help us out a lot. Like this video. And as always, be safe. It is Neff signing off.